What's up everyone, in this video we're gonna show you how to apply some variations for your characters and how to use Unreal to create different variations and colors for the characters you're creating. Most of the time we don't have the time or maybe the manpower to create so many characters for our games or maybe you want to be more flexible with it. So it's a good thing to know how to apply different colors in Unreal to apply different variations for your characters. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how this is done. This is a work in progress actually of a character we are creating and it's not complete but it's worth showing how these materials are made. So if you check this character, let me open up the modular section you can see you can have different colors here for example you can change the weapon color say something green or something like that at the end of the day even if you have the flexibility to change the colors it's better to make sure you have a nice color palette to make your asset look as nice as possible so you can change the colors here something like that and you can change also the, co the closest color. For example, I want the, the black socks, right? Or the purple one, any color you want. So how we achieve this? Because this is the original mesh. This is the original character with the original colors. And this is the one we have with the modified colors in Unreal. So let's start with the basic first. We go to Substance Painter, and this is our file here. And we can see we have our character here. I only see my base colors, but if you see the final, I can also have a different look of the character. But let's take a look at the base color. So let's say you have your character. Then the next step is to create some mask for it. And the way you do it is just add some simple black color here. Just you say this is your black mask. And then you will want to work on three channels. First, the red channel. And you will want to paint your mask on the areas if you want to change. Then the green one. And then the blue one. And notice that I'm putting this mode on linear dodge. In case they overlap, then my mask is accurate. And the other one is the purple one. So what is a purple one? Actually, I'm not using the color purple. When I'm exporting, I'm disabling this color. But for preview purposes, I'm using this color to check where I'm painting. So it's very easy. Just if you deselect this, you can check how I can paint here my mask. Uh, if I choose the white one, there you go. I can paint my mask anywhere. So this is how you go. So it's a very slow process actually, but it works the time at the end. So once you have that, let's just say I want to export this mask, make sure you have your black mask here and disable this color. And the reason I'm using this user zero, and you can check this in the texture settings, I notice I add user zero to my channels, is because I want an alpha in my texture. So just, just by that, just click here, export textures, and you can see I have my preset and my preset is UE4 mask and I have my RGB channels which is my red, green and blue channel and then I have my alpha channel which is my user 0 one. Here you can see user 0 goes into alpha so then when I export this and I go into Unreal you can check I have generated the necessary mask for my textures for example I have my cloud mask and you can see the alpha here if I remove it you can see my color mask here and I can also have the weapon mask but with alpha and RGB channels so if you want to take a look at how this looks like just create a new material and here let's duplicate this mesh and we will put it here and you can see I'm using these ones to change these colors and if I want to preview the other mask, I can just create a material and then click here and you can see which areas of the model I am affecting. Of course, you lose some flexibility from this. This is the original colors 
and this is the best case scenario but you want to be as flexible as possible when creating your mask you don't want to have too many so that they can change everything for example you can see that I'm grouping all this red color here all this red cloth I'm grouping into only one of it this gray one so if I change this one let's put the maybe it's this one so if I change the red notice that I'm not only changing the legs but also I'm changing all the other parts that are related to this color which is follows the original idea that the model had when it was first painted so we don't destroy the original idea of the artist that they want this color harmony so we group them to change the same colors so this is how you go about it now how you do it in Unreal? well it's very easy let's check our material and this is our modular master as you can see here is very simple and the reason is it create it has a material function and what the material function does is basically tint all the colors it gets the color from this one from the original mesh and it gets the mask to apply different colors and you can see you have all the colors here and you have all the tints channels for red green and blue and alpha you have input for your mask and your albedo texture and an optional parameter for global desaturation so if i check the material function you will see here all this spaghetti here and what basically is doing is checking all the all the mask here and plugging them into an alpha to lerp so first we start with the color you can see how it works let's preview this note and you can see our mesh here you can see the original color now let's go to the first alpha start previewing okay and you can see nothing goes here because the preview is black and you can see my alpha is actually black if I change the color to let's say something red you can see my red channel is changing so on V it goes my new value and on A goes my previous value and I do the same for the rest of things for example the green one if I want to preview the green let's check the next lerp on the V it goes the new green multiply it which is also multiplied by the original color so we still keep the same values that we had before but just add another tint and in the A we don't choose this one this time we choose the last one this one is a new color so we stack them together and so on and so on until we get to our final output so this is how you manage to create variations for your games and you have you can see how helpful it is how easy it is to create different variations for your characters and you can extend this more like change the roughness and metallic and different material properties which will be added later so you can have multiple characters with only one material so if you like this video make sure to click the like button subscribe and click on the ring of the bell so you can get the latest updates let us know in the comments what kind of tutorial video you wish to see and we may make a video out of that and we'll see you in the next one